What is going on guys? See like here and today we're doing an unboxing video for the Yeezy Boost 750 Grey Gum Glow in the Dark. These sneakers are released June 11th and we're going to start the unboxing right now. And it's empty. If you're getting mail that you don't expect, you always open it up. Like, I don't know anyone that doesn't actually open up the mail they have. And I just realized the box is in the background the whole time. So, can't even fake it. This is the Yeezy Boost 750. They come in half sizes. My uh, understanding is they're gonna be offered from sizes five to 14, although finding sizes under six and above 13 are probably gonna be a little difficult. A lot of people are asking where the best place to cop from is. In my opinion, it would be Adidas Direct. I think that's like the best opportunity you have. A lot of sites get ravaged with bots. That's not to say that Adidas site doesn't, um, but the most amount of people I've seen tweet me that say they get pairs is from Adidas Direct. Uh, there's more information on the links as well as the reserved app down below in the description if you are trying to find a pair. And of course, you can buy a pair early on eBay if you wanted to shell out the money for them. Um, but in my opinion, this is the best colorway that's released. I'm gonna show you them a little bit more up close. This is what an authentic pair label looks like, 11 and a half. Now, a lot of people felt that these fit a full-size big. Now, before this release, we only had full sizes to choose from. Um, and uh, when I got the 750 gray for the first time, I tried on a size 11 in the office and I tried on a size 12 in the Adidas office. And the 11, even though it probably would have been the better fit because of the zipper and how they're made, it felt like I was gonna snap the zipper. So I think a lot of people were getting into the wrong size. In my opinion, these fit true to size to a half size small. I still went the, with the 11 and a half because the 12 I have does have room in the foot. And I think that true to size fit's gonna be what I want if you don't wanna break the zipper. Okay. Inside, oh, I dropped the dust bag. Just have two black plain. There's no Kanye West branding or anything. I'm sure maybe some fake sites will put Kanye West branding. Uh, and there are two separate ones, just black. With no extra laces. I, I just checked. Maybe I'll find them in here. Uh, but that could probably be another helpful thing if fake companies make them and they come with laces and they shouldn't have a lace bag. But here is the sneaker. Let's show you them more up close. Now you might be saying, wait, wasn't there already a great Yeezy Boost release? And I will say, yes, there was. However, uh, there's a lot of improvements. I think the suede quality on this is much, much better. Um, the overall construction of the zipper is better as well. I'll show you in a second. YKK zippers. No, a lot of people thought they might be re-re zippers, etc. Um, but already have a little bit, I mean, I'm not being too gentle with this, uh, but I'm hoping that the construction is going to be better. I'm planning on wearing this pair, so if they do break, I'll let you guys know. What the inside of the tag says, made in China, 11 and a half, you can see that. Also, you can't see it, or maybe you can, but 216 is the production date for this pair. This is what the Yeezy footbed looks like on an authentic pair. There's nothing on the outsole. I know some of the other pairs did have something on the outsole, like a design and grooved, but this one does not have it. And way in there, you can see the inside and stitching. I'm just doing this for your guys' sake. I don't really care what's on the inside of the shoe as long as it fits well. Now for the detail everyone wants to know about. This is the glow-in-the-dark gum sole as well as the boost sole. Uh, I unfortunately don't have a place to put this in direct daylight, so I will do a glow test and a follow-up video as well as an on-foot, but I'll show you the gum outsole, the translucentness of it, uh, and the boost as well. There you go. The boost, you can just make out the inner ring of boost here because that gum outsole, again, is translucent. I held this into the light very briefly in this part and then walked into my dark bathroom over here. Or no, that's my bedroom, but the bathroom's around the corner. And I uh, didn't really notice too bright of a glow, but again, then again, it wasn't that quick. And of course, I'm gonna compare it with the Nike Air Easy 2, which I think had the best glow. And, and it's not the same, but that's not to say it sucks. Last detail, I mean, I don't know. It looks like the last pair. There's not too much to say. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. There you have it, the Easy Boost release. <laughs> oh no, Sophia's gone. She's like, I'm out of here. Um, we'll do an on foot, we'll do a glow test. It's hot as hell in here. I just opened up the window. I just came back from running track. Um, and I actually might film the on foot on the track because the lighting was really dope. But we'll do on foot, we'll do glow test. Uh, so those two videos will be coming back to back. If you need more information or links, etc., that's all down below in the description. Um, again, really appreciate the hookup on these. And uh, yeah, looking forward to wearing them and enjoying them. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to cop. I'll put out some more information again when I do the videos later this week. See you later signing out. Peace, guys.